Hi, welcome to Rose Opal Knits, our knitting and other crafts podcast. This is episode 12. I'm Daphne. <laughs> and I'm Erica. So um, I usually say this at the end, but I'm going to say it at the beginning this time. Thank you to all of our subscribers and all of you keep coming back every week to watch us. We're so grateful that you're here every time we upload a video. And if you're new, we hope you stay around and you like what you see. And if you do, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so hope everyone is doing well and staying healthy and just, you know, being kind to each other. And um, so we'll start with finished objects. You wanna go first? Sure, I'll do this one first. All right. Okay, so there's technically four here, but it's all the same yarn, so I'm gonna lump them together. But it is also loops and thread. I don't remember what kind. It's 100% cotton, I know that. But I made face masks, and they're all different because it's self-striping yarn. But the color of the yarn and everything will be in the show notes. So I'll just show you them all real quick. And it is the face mask. We put it in the description below before, and um, it'll be in the um, description down below. Yep. It's a free pattern. You can find it online. I think I found it on Lovecrafts. I don't know if it's on Ravelry. I don't think so. I think it was just on a different website. Yeah. But so those are the face masks, and so I just knit until it was the 30 rows that you're supposed to do, and then just went to the other side. So they're kind of like mix matchy and like kind of pieced together. This one's my favorite. <laughs> I think the color these one. for your um... These are for my mom. Okay. So, but yeah, so I made three of them. So she got every color in the masks because I didn't know how they were going to knit up or anything like that with the stripes. So made three with all the different colors. Then I tried making a dishcloth, which is grandma's Favorite dish mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Okay. That one by PJ Allen. Yeah. That is a free pattern on yeah. um, Ravelry, I think. Well, it's like a link. Is it a link? Yeah. It, like, you can find it on Ravelry, but then you have to click on the link, and then it sends you to the other website oh, okay. or something like that. It was kind of like, I was hoping I could just download it, but I couldn't download it. Oh, okay. But, so I made one, and it's really little, so, and it's really cute. I like the it stripes. Uh-huh. But I used the size four needle because that's what the face masks call for and I didn't want to switch my needles so it's really little but it's a really cute pattern so and you, I did the yarn overs most people don't from what yeah. I've seen mm -hmm. but I I actually really like the yarn overs so and you said you were going to use it as a coaster yeah I said I could either use it as a coaster because I have I want to show you it's sitting right here I have this huge cup so it's like perfect little cup that's the or, uh, postpartum cup that you get at the hospital. I had one too, but it broke. <laughs> yeah, it's super great, but still. She'll get another one, I'm sure, unless yes. they changed it. But. Totally. Look, they're really nice. and yeah, hold a lot of fluids. Yeah. yeah, but we also have other cups that are like that size of a bottom, so perfect size coaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Holden doesn't ruin his desks. <laughs> that was my thought. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thought. But we'll see. All right, so I will show my finished objects. Ta-da! Pair of socks. And so the last time I showed these socks, I was here on this one. So I knit the rest of the foot and the toe and then all of the second sock. Um, and this pattern is the Jemima pattern by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears modified. So she wrote the pattern to go all the way around the leg and it's for fingering weight also. So this is DK weight and I modified the pattern to just fit on the front of the sock all the way down and added this, you know, um, pearl border here, which isn't in the pattern. And um, I did the slip stitch heel and I did the umbrella umbrella toe that, <laughs> that is called for in the pattern. Let me tell you about the yarn. And so this is what I have left. It's 22.9 grams. 
So it was a 100 gram skein. And here it is. The yarn is Clark and L. It was the April Yarn Club 2020 colorway watercolors. It's 75% superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. And that, like I said, it was 100 grams. That was 245 yards. It's strong DK four ply base. And I've said it before, and I love the base. I loved knitting with the yarn and I just really love these socks. I think this is the quickest pair of socks she made. Well, they're DK weight. In a while. <laughs> they're DK weight. So, <laughs> um, that's it. I think that's it. All the, um, oh, I used a US 3, which I don't remember what the millimeter size is. I'm sorry. But, okay. This is a fun This one's fun. Because this has been here for like ever. But <laughs> I finally finished my Ivy cardigan. So, and there's the little sleeve. Hair on it. <laughs> whatever so I did I did it. change it so I said that I was thinking I'm gonna rip back the back of it because I had the two front panels so the front panels are a little like yeah it's not supposed to be like one of those bundle up kind of cardigans that I normally wear but um I thought it would go nice with a couple of my dresses that I have but so for the back I was actually like there ish so there's the bottom I was like up here and I ripped it out and redid it all and finished it that way instead because I had messed up the lace and I needed to redo it anyways. And I didn't want to go back because then I felt like I was going to mess up again. So I just ripped it out and restarted it all. But I finished it finally and then I did the sleeves. And I did not do the lace on the sleeves because I just wanted it done. And... I think it looks nice. I don't think you need the lace on the sleeves. I don't think so either because you it's a, like you have to sew it together when you're done. And there's no lace up on the shoulder section. So like, it's not like you're missing anything if you decide to yeah, take it Yeah, it's not off. like there was a lace panel here that went down into the sleeve. So. Yeah. So. Very that nice. That's my finished object. And I don't know how long it's been on the needles. It is um, the Scout yarn and mm -hmm. it is strawberry heather is the color Kelb kelborn woolens yep. scout mm -hmm. and i mean so it'll all be in size. the description box below so and it's on a size us nine i don't know what the millimeters, millimeters are. are yeah oh this is also the first mattress stitch i did and i actually did it very well and i'm very proud yeah, of myself because you can't yeah, even it looks tell. great and this the seam i love the seam that the mattress stitch made mm -hmm. so i think it looks nice it inside is itchy. i feel like my hair is getting in my nose oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so first mattress seam i even did a good job on the shoulders yeah it looks great i was very proud of myself mm -hmm. so but yeah mm -hmm. it looks nice and it is blocked and there are no ends Yep, she fully finished it. I fully it. finished it fully this finished time, it. you guys. Yep. Uh -huh. So. And then promptly let Mason wear it around the family room. And oh, I was like, ah. yes. Okay, look. <laughs> his arms are like the perfect size because of the sleeves. And he likes to wear my cardigans anyway. Yeah. So, he was wearing it. And then he was chewing on it. <laughs> Whatever. Look. All right. It'll be, it'll be fine. I'll still wear it. And I have a finished cross stitch needlework um, project. Here, I bought this because I didn't know with the black how it would <laughs> look. I was wondering why you needed the paper. Yeah. So here it is. Let's hold it up so you can focus it. Okay, so it says, if you couldn't read it, every upright conscious cannot but decisively condemn any racism, no matter in what heart or place it is found. And that's a quote from St. John Paul II. And so, right after we recorded last time, um, I was just feeling like, well, obviously I was upset. I am still upset. and. Um, but I felt like I needed to do something, and I know this quote, and so I just charted it on graph paper, 
and charted the hearts in it. And I mean, you know, it's kind of overkill with the hearts, but I don't know. I will forever be a fourth grade girl, you know, doodling hearts. That's just, I just love to doodle hearts. So I added a bunch of hearts and um, and then it, I did, it took me one day of sitting during my free time to finish it. And then once I did it, I was very pleased. Um, and I haven't fully finished it because I'm not sure how I'm gonna finish it. But I will, let me tell you what I used. So, I stitched this on 28 count Jobelin, color is black, on a nine by 13. I don't even know if you can see that, but that's what it is. And then the threads I used are the Sulky threads in these four colors. So these are the colors that I used for the hearts. And then this is the color that I used for the words. So um, I'm not gonna tell you the numbers right now because they are just um, color numbers, but I will put them in the description box below. So that is a, th and if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen it because I did post a picture of it. Um, but, so there's that. Do you have any more? Did you show everything? Yeah, for finished those are objects? all the finished objects I have. All right. So, got that one away. All right, so we want to jump in. You have how many works in progress? Three? Three. All right, so you go ahead and start because I only have two. Okay, so. Oh, I have three. <laughs> I'm lying. Okay, I'll start with this yeah, one. Yeah, you start. It is in the baby knit bag, that's what I'm calling it right now. But, so I started a new baby project and it is going to be a dress and it is by the same person who did the spring duo baby romper. rubber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't remember the order of the words. But so it's by those same people, so hold on, I dropped a stitch. Oh no. It's okay. If I can move my yarn. Apparently I can't right now. Whatever. I'll fix it. She's getting it. We're done. There we go. Okay. It's like falling <laughs> off. Anyways, so it's in this really cute color. And I've had this yarn. We we actually got to buy yarn from the yarn store. Oh, yes. Because it finally that. reopened. But this is an old purchase. I don't know if I actually showed it before or not. But this is the yarn. And I did buy it from our local yarn store, so the Yarn Maven, a while ago. But it is the Classic Elite Yarn Malika. And it is... There's no, no L in there. <laughs> Just Mika. <laughs> <laughs> Look, whatever. <laughs> it's 100% it's right. cotton. But, so, that's it. And it's just the number for the color. So, it is 6250. I guess it could be Mika, too. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's not Mika, Malika. Mika. I don't know. But, anyway, so this is the color. It's really pretty. And it kind of matches, it matches the bag, too. Mm-hmm. So. All the girl baby did so much the bag, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, so this is another dress, and it is going to be, so this is the skirt, and it just keeps going up, and then it has a little bit of ribbing, and then straps. Like, so Like over, like an overall pile, like a bib top? Yep. Okay. Yep, and I actually have a dress very similar to this one. Mine does not, mine's not like a knit dress, but it is a corduroy in the same color. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really cute. So I didn't realize that at the time, but then I was looking at my dresses because I'll soon be able to wear my dresses again. And it is on a US size four, which is uh, 3.5 millimeters. So, and I'm making the, zero, not zero to six, it's three to six months. So it will be more for the fall. That is my baby knit right now. All right. Well, what? Oh. <laughs> so I'll talk about this. <laughs> I'm, I totally lied. I have four works in progress. Go oh, down. No. <laughs> Where my brain is today. Okay, so this, I think I talked about this in our last episode that I had to cast on that day because it was the first. So I casted it on. And I'm actually knitting it Magic Loop, which I never do. Um, 
but I didn't do a lot. This is not marking my progress. This is marking the front. I actually don't need that anymore because <laughs> now I know which side the front is. But, you know, again, it's got a, a you know, like a knit pearl pattern on the front and then just straight stockinette on the back, that, which is, like I've said before, that is like the perfect recipe for me. And this is just a knit pearl pattern that I charted real fast before I started it. And you can't even really see it. So, but it's fun. <laughs> it, you know, you can see a little bit of texture. But the yarn it's is... It's just because it's speckly yarn. And it's a really light color. And I think it's going to need to... I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> here's the, the yarn and the cake. And it is by Clark and L. I've showed this before too. Clark and L May Yarn Club 2020. The colorway is flowers, and it is the 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon strong DK four ply. And like I've said, I love it. So, oh, I dropped oh. it. Oh, I made you bend over. It didn't really make me, <laughs> so I could have just left it for you. You, you could have. But whatever. <laughs> So anyway, these are the pair of socks that I'm going to focus on the next two weeks. And I, I don't know if I'll have them finished, but they're the ones I'm going to work on. So that's that. Work in progress. Do you want to show another one? Do you have more yeah. socks or no? I have. No, no more oh, okay. socks. No more socks. No more socks. <laughs> Just show another one because I only have two. Okay, okay. So I talked about this briefly in the last episode. I didn't finish it but I will have it finished this time. So this is my cow um, that I charted the color work up, you know, and I was wanted to practice on my helical stripes. So I was here last episode. So I knit the rest of this color work chart, the stripe pattern, and I am like a third of the way done with the next color work, um, which it's the same chart. So what happens with the striping is that, you know, I did the same number of stripes each time, but because of the, you know, the spiral method of it, it ends on a different color. So I guess I could have kept the color work sections the same, but I didn't. I've switched them. So I kind of like the way it looks. And so this one is back to this one. And I did change the pattern a little bit. Like I closed this up instead of making it open. But, um... But it's, I really like it. And this color work section up here is going to be the last color work section. Then I'll have one more section of the stripes and then I'll go into the ribbing and then it'll be done. Cause it's, it's long. It's, you know, <laughs> it's getting big. And my colors are Knit Picks Stroll Fingering Weight. They were bare. And several years ago, I dyed them with um, food coloring Actually, this one, if it's not food coloring, it's Kool-Aid, but which is food coloring. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, so this is the green and then this is the lighter color, which has like, I tried to like put some little specks of other colors in there. But so anyway, that's all that. Okay. I'm gonna show this one first. But so I don't know if you guys have ever I have, received. Have I seen this? No. Okay. <laughs> I like. That I don't I know if you guys have ever seen like gotten a gift from Amazon or not. Like if somebody but, orders you yeah. a gift and sends it to you. Well, if they have to choose the gift option, and then it comes in one of these bags. Yeah. But they're really nice for like bigger things. So. Yeah, I use yeah. them for project bags. As but, project bags too. So I found this cardigan. I do not remember the name of it off the top of my head right now but found it and I found this yarn and this yarn was on sale when I went to Michael's so my poll is all types of messed up but anyways so it is Lions brand wooly thick and quick and it, this is a super bulky yarn so there's it a must be thing. super sized ball of it too it okay it is yeah and I it was so it was and it's so not, cheap uh-huh like it was very affordable it is oh okay no like well normally <laughs> because uh, it's not cheap it's nice yarn yeah no i'm just saying like mm -hmm. it was a really good price okay because it is a 340 gram ball oh okay yeah so it's yeah. like a huge ball how Anyways, many balls of it did you get i think 
I don't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> she has a tendency to overbuy. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I did overbuy it again. Oh, okay. But I also really like the colors, so it's okay. Yeah, and you can always make the baby something, too. Yeah. No, I think I'm going to make a... I think I'm going to make one of these, actually. Okay. But anyway, so the color is eggplant, and this ball is falling apart. Here, I'll hold the ball, and you can hold the sweater up. Well. I like this color. I like the feel of it. <laughs> but anyways, so this is my cardigan. It is very dark, so I don't know how well you guys are going to be able oh, to see it. I think you can see it. Great. Okay. Oh, well, the color keeps here. Let's yeah. See. The color is, like, changing. Let's see it's changing. Let's put the white background. There you go. Does that help? Uh, kind of. It's oh. okay. Anyways. So it's a cardigan, but it's very hard to show you because of the needles and everything. But the raglan is done, so the sleeves are separated. They're already on the stitch holders. And it is on a size US 19, which is a 15 millimeter, which is huge. But that's the needle I met Gage with. So I'm kind of debating on if I want to make another one after this, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have enough, because this is my first ball. And I'm already done with the raglan. It's supposed to be like a bomber style oh, yeah, cardigan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so well, yeah, think... You did show me a picture, like a pattern picture, mm -hmm. but I just haven't seen your knitting. Yeah, so this mm -hmm. was my downstairs pattern, so she hasn't seen it. Because it's like so big, so I don't want to carry it. Carry it up to the family room. Yeah, yeah. keep so, it in the basement. And it's also, these needles are really short, so you can't really see how wide it is or anything. But it is um, a... Well, I can't really. I don't you should have brought. You, you should have brought your double points up. Those <laughs> things are so funny. <laughs> I forgot I bought those. But I also didn't have stitch markers, obviously, because who has stitch markers to mark stuff? So I, I to go over that size. Yeah. Well. So I made them mm -hmm. out of other yarn. Cotton, it looks like. It is cotton. Mm -hmm. It is cotton fair oh, okay. yarn. Uh huh. That I have a bunch of leftover. That from. was for your raglan increases. Yeah. Yeah. But my raglan increases are done. Like I said, nice. sleeves are separated, uh -huh. and it's really simple because it's just straight knitting for the body. Mm -hmm. So it won't take long to finish it. No, not at and all. And I'll have a lot of yarn left over. But like I said, I'm okay with that because I really like this color, mm -hmm. and I like the woolies. So, yeah. I've got a tickle in my nose. Alright, so... Wait, how many more works in progress do you have? I only have one more now. You only have one more? Yeah, I only have three. Oh. I've been doing the three. That's it. Okay. Didn't meet my goals. So I did work a little bit on my Sunset Highway. Not a whole lot, but, you know, it did take up... I have 420 stitches on the needles currently because I have not split for the sleeves yet. Um, so it takes me a bit of time to get a round done. So I think I worked a total, I, I think I got nine rounds completed looking for my marker. Right here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's yeah. like a bad color to have on <laughs> yeah. for a marker. That is a bad color. There's the last time I showed it. It was here. So I've knit a little over an inch, it looks like. Maybe just an inch. But anyway, here it is, just in case you forgot what it looked like. My Sunset Highway. So I just love it. I can't wait to split for the sleeves. And then I've decided that when I split for the sleeves, I'm going to knit the sleeves first because they're fun. They've got color work down. Um, and then I'll go back to the white body or this you know it's like off white body but anyway here's my sunset highway hopefully the next time you see it I, I won't show it again until I split for the sleeves I promise but here are here is the yarns that I'm using real quick so these two our willow tree yarn on the royal blade royal royal oh, i can't speak today sorry <laughs> royal base 85 superwash merino 15 percent nylon and that one is called orchid and <laughs> that one is called vintage blooms <laughs> and here it is. we'll just leave them there and then this is queen city yarns 
right here. And that is the Queens Road MCN base, 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, and the colorway is French roast. And then the main body color is this Dale Garn, Dale Baby Oop, I think. And the colorway is a number, which is just 0020. <laughs> so that's that. And that's it. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Her hair was everywhere. Okay, so I have had... This is a new one, too. Yes! Oh, this is all new yarn, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I basically just started a bunch of stuff. The only thing I have on my needles that has been on my needles is that pair of Hermione's Everyday socks. That's the only thing that's still on my needles. But I didn't work on that at all. But anyways, so... I am making the turtle dove. I think right. it's number two. Oh, okay. Because I think I, it said it has two on it, so I guess there's two different patterns. But I didn't know that. But it's by a spot the Spotstrico. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Okay. But anyways, so this is from our yarn local store. yarn yeah. store. It's the yarn maven. The so yarn bad. maven. We're very excited that it opened. Yes. <laughs> but anyways, so it is. Plymouth yarn and it is Encore Tweed and I think it's just a color number. Yeah, it is T138 for mm -hmm. the color. And it is a 75% acrylic, 22% wool, and then 3% rayon. Mm -hmm. But that is the color. It's a nice neutral. Yeah. Like always. <laughs> but anyways, so I am almost done with the raglan. Oh, I should have put it on bigger needles. I meant to. I meant to have it split for the sleeves actually before we came up here. But <laughs> And the head looks really small. So that's... Can you get it over your head? Yes. Okay. It's really stretchy. <laughs> because it does look really small. <laughs> yes, I can. It okay. looks really small, but yes. Okay. But anyways, so this is the first time I did Twisted Room. So, I like twisted room. But I am like 12 or 14 rows from the arm separation, sleeve, sleeve separation. I'm about to lose stitches again. But yeah, so this is actually the front. I'll show you guys the back. But yeah, that's it. And it's on really bad needles. So. Are you going to be able, is that going to be comfortable? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have that one huge yellow sweater that I wear all the time. I know, I know, but did, I don't, is it that small? Is that that yes. snug? Okay, okay. Yes. I mean, you know, you know what you like. But yeah, so I actually started this because uh, one of the podcasts that I watched started hers. I also might fold it down like that. Okay. Because. That could look cute too. That's cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it is cute. I keep doing that too. So which podcast? Lunar Knits. Oh, okay. Yeah, she mm -hmm. started hers. I don't know if she's doing the same one or if she's doing the first one, but I, I also don't know if there is two different patterns for the turtle You just dove. know that yours has it too. Yeah, I just know that there's a two on it, so hmm. I don't know, but I like it. I'm really excited about it. So, And mm -hmm. I'm making the smallest size, actually, because it's supposed to be, like, a 14-inch positive ease. Oh, okay. I didn't want that. I mm -hmm. mean, like, I already have a couple sweaters that have... That much. Your yellow one, that's your, your gold one you were talking about, right? Yeah. Now. It's, like, really mm -hmm. big. But that was a store-bought sweater. Yeah. But still. Mm -hmm. I don't need all my sweaters to be super oversized, so I am making the smallest size. And this is on a size 9. US 9, so the 5.5 .5 millimeter mm -hmm. needle, so. But yeah. This is also a really quick knit. Because I mean, yeah, so I so started nice. all this. Within the last two weeks? Yep. Uh -huh. And I've done the half of the skirt for the dress. Mm -hmm. This and the, mm -hmm. and the Ivy cardigan, like. Yeah. So basically everything product. I have are really quick. Yeah. Apparently. Well, that's fun. Okay, so my last work in progress is cross stitch. And here it is. Okay. 
don't know if I need my paper. <laughs> but, um, okay, so about this project. It is a free pattern. You can find it um, on the Jardin Privé, which I know I'm pronouncing that wrong because it is French, but, you know, we've been there, done that, and I'm just going <laughs> to pronounce it this way. Um, it's on the free section of the, ooh, on the, the website, and there it is right there. Let me... <coughs> That's gonna say the V A day. Life is beautiful. Um, right? That's what that means. For you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, but I am doing this. I'm stitching this along with Vanessa of a Historian Knits. She is hosting an informal stitch along um, for any Jardin Privé pattern. Um, and it's gonna go through the summer, I believe. And so on Instagram, you could use the hashtag that she has picked for that, which I think is hashtag private garden SAL because Jardin Privé means um, private garden. Um, but anyway, um, I am not using any of the called for colors for it. Um, I'll that up real quick. Maybe see. I don't know. It's kind of dark. Um, but I all my floss right now is currently a hot mess. <laughs> um, here on the things, but you can kind of see them. Not really, because they really are all messed up. <laughs> but I'm using a mix of DMC, um, color and cotton, and Weeks Dye Works. Um, and all the, I'll put list all the colors in the description box so you will know. The only problem I'm having is the color that I chose for the butterfly right there. Um, it's kind of blending in. There we go. With the um, fabric. So I don't know, I might pick that out and choose another color. Although I really wanted it to be yellow and so I have a limited amount of floss in my stash and that's really the only yellow, yellow, yellow I've got. I might have another one, but I think it's lighter. But this is Ada, 16 count Ada. It was originally cream color. I think I showed it before. I lightly coffee tea dyed it to kind of um, add some warmth to it. But I, ha I haven't spent a lot of time stitching on this. I just started it couple days ago. But I hope to uh, finish it soon because then I'm going <clears> to <throat> stitch my gnomes. They're Jordan Privé too. <laughs> so that's that. So that's the end of our works in progress. So now we'll move on. Oh, right here. We'll talk about our <laughs> knit along. Oh, no. I yawned. Oh. Um, oh no, I'm like all red. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> So we hosted a knit along on Instagram and today is the last day to enter that knit along on Instagram using the hashtag ROK, Colorwork Sweater K-A-L. Um, and what we're going to do is, because we're going to leave it open all day, um, we're going to pop in a picture here of the prize and across the picture, we will put the name of the winner. So if that's your name, <laughs> then just email us at our email address, which is roseopalnits at gmail.com. You can also find it down in the description box. But I think I looked yesterday, last night. I looked last night and I believe that there were seven posts to the hashtag that wasn't either you or me. So we've got a really good chance <laughs> of winning if you posted a picture. Um, and I think that might only be four different ladies with seven total, seven total entries. So a couple of you use the hashtag a couple times, which is great. You could totally do that. Um, and so that's it. So there will have been a picture and your name will be on the screen. So thanks for joining us. We had a lot of fun. I had fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I finished <laughs> two. Okay. I only Color finished one. Better. Yeah, I only finished one and started another one. But look, apparently this is the year of the garment for me. Yes, uh, I'm sure it is.
What did I say? It sure is. I'm sure it is. I don't know. <laughs> it sounded weird. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So should we go into um, purchases? Yeah, sure. All right. Do, you, do you, you? I only have three things of yarn. I don't know how many you actually have. Because, I mean, I already showed yeah. two of them. I have the purchases from the Yarn Maven and then one order that I ordered from online that arrived. Okay. So it doesn't matter. You go first. Okay. Bye -bye. <laughs> All right. So I bought sock yarn, even though I so don't need sock yarn, but this is really pretty. And I don't know how to say this brand, but this is the same brand as the... I'm pretty sure it was the last pair of socks I finished, mm -hmm. but... Not the last pair, maybe the pair before that. But anyway, yes, The blue and pink is the yeah. Brazilian teal mm -hmm. that I had last time. But this one is um, Bella Vista. I guess that's how you would say it. But it was really pretty. And it's pretty. not normal colors I would go to, but it was really pretty, and I decided to buy it. So What do you mean those aren't normal colors you would go towards? The pink. Oh. Well, the yellow totally is. The though, yellow. And the gold. That's not it. But the pink? Not not normally, but it's a good accent color for the other yeah. two. Yeah. So. No, like that pink is not a color mm -hmm. I would. That's pink. That's a color I would go for. Their pinks are really pretty. Like this brand, their pinks are really pretty. Mm -hmm. And I don't generally like pink that much. Like at all. I mean, like, yeah, I have a strawberry Heather cardigan, but... <laughs> Pinks are still, not pinks are not what I go to. Okay. Yeah, that still le that still leans more towards like uh, a neutral. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, it's but kind still, of a like beigey pink. Pinks are not what I go to it's at all. Especially not like that shade of pink. I don't even know what color pink. Yeah, but it's, it's fun to put like you know colors you don't normally wear on your feet. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I mean, that's how I felt about the other one, too. Yeah. Like, it was just, like, that one pink. Like, it was just very pink. But then it wasn't because uh -huh. it had the black and the blue with it. So, mm -hmm. it was, like, mm -hmm. okay. And it was actually kind of similar to that pink. I think it was lighter. Yeah, I think it was a little lighter, too. That's a, it has a little <laughs> bit more um, depth to it, deepness. But, and then it, but then it's got a little bit of lightness there, too. Anyway, yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have more to show or you want me to show something? Uh, Okay. Uh, this is all for one project. All right, so, go ahead and show it. Okay, so this is actually going to live in this bag. It's the Noble Character Cross, cross bag, bag that mm -hmm. we bought. But anyways, so, and just so you guys know, there is pink on this bag. Because there's also pink in the bag. Anyways, so I'm going to make the Snowy Pine Shawl by the Blue Mouse. And I have been wanting to make this for a while, so I finally... Well, it's going to be my first shawl. Yeah. And it's also brioche. Ooh. So, yeah. <laughs> I have not tackled brioche yet. I'm but actually not interested in knitting brioche. I love the way it looks. But. I just really like the cardigan because she wore it on her podcast mm -hmm. all the time and it looks so comfy. You mean the, sh the shawl? What did I say? Cardigan. Whatever. <laughs> difference it's a huge okay yeah, look, yeah, it is look big. it's huge i think it's like 90 inches like the oh yeah like it's like huge the wingspan. yes mm -hmm. the wingspan i think it's it's either 90 inches or it's 72 but i think she has it in two different sizes oh okay but i could also be wrong on that mm -hmm. so it's either 72 or 90 but still that's huge yeah so but these are colors and i actually chose the pink first mm -hmm. for yeah. the lighter color and then the blue mm-hmm but these are the colors. I like that Barocco Ultra Wool DK. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. I actually like it. Mm -hmm. Like the feel of it. I haven't used it yet. But anyway, so the colors are just numbers. This one is 8365, and then this is 8310. So. Now, where's the accent color? Like, is it at the bottom, the top, or in the center? I have never, I don't even think I've ever seen with the shawl, really. You may have the seen The shawl picture. is just full brioche. Oh, oh, that's right. So it's yeah. yes. Never mind. So it's just a full brioche shawl. That's yeah. all I Okay. No. Yeah. I looked at the pattern and it's kind of confusing because I don't know how to do brioche. Well, but I'm sure it. once I actually mm -hmm. figure out how to, the yeah. pattern won't be confusing anymore. Uh-huh. But yeah, so those are my colors. It's gonna be pretty. I'm excited. I just haven't started it yet. But 
Even the needles are in here for it. Mm -hmm. You're ready so, to start. I know, I'm ready, but I just haven't. Because I want to do more spinning. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, so this is what I had uh, two gift cards to use that I got for my birthday in April. So I finally got the opportunity to use them. And I pretty much, well, I knew I was going to buy yarn, this yarn. So I bought three skeins of this Barocco Remix Light. And it is a 30% nylon, 27% cotton, 24% acrylic, 10% silk, and 9% linen. Cotton. That's a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it is for, I'll tell you the color real quick. It's a number 6984. Um, it is for a summer tea called the Derecho. I forgot to look it up. I think it's Derecho. Dureco? I don't know. But when I start it, which won't be until July, um, I think I'm going to start it on July 1st. Um, I will know for sure what the... But I have the pattern already and everything. I just didn't grab it. But anyway, I think this is one of my favorite colors. So, I love it. I've never used this yarn before. I kind of like the way it feels in the skein. So, yeah. we'll see. But it's going to be short sleeve and it's a circular yoke. Well, I'll leave these out. And then this, I had not planned on buying either of these, but then I saw them. I think they were new in the store. I don't remember her having them before, but I could be wrong. Maybe I just didn't notice. Um, so I bought Regia. What's that, Gary? Pear, Perfect. DK weight. <laughs> I know she had Perfect in the fingering weight. But I don't think she had it in DK weight before. I don't think I remember seeing this. So this one's going to knit up like that. And this one's going to knit up like that. That's like super Easter-y looking to uh -huh. me. And um, so I'm still going to put some kind of pattern though on the front of the foot. Because I just can't knit straight vanilla socks. That kills me. It's like awful. But, so, but it'll just be like you know an easy memorizable pattern. I'm working on one. I just don't know which sock I'm going to use it for. <laughs> anyway, so I'm excited about those. I think they'll be fun. And my last purchase is... I ordered these online. I think it was from Southern Stitchers Co. Southern Stitchers Co? I don't know. <laughs> but I ordered this cross stitch pattern. About the spoon was part of it. No. It says but coffee first. Or but first coffee. So I love coffee. I can't drink a lot of coffee. I used to drink tons of coffee, but now you know my 44 years. I've had a cup back. I can only drink like one eight ounce cup of coffee in the morning and that's it. But anyway, I still love it. <laughs> so I bought that. And then I got this fabric. It is 32 count linen, vintage country mocha in a 9 by 13 size. So that's that. <laughs> and those are all my purchases. The only other thing that I bought that I didn't bring up were the size 19, UF 19 double point needles. Yeah, those are crazy are looking. looking. Yeah, <laughs> they are so funny looking. They're 8 inch too. They don't look like an inch double point needle at all. They're like so thick. Well, I mean, they they have to be there. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, that's the only other thing I bought. Well, I think that's it. Yeah, that's all we've got. It's really starting to warm up here. The kids are having a lot of fun playing outside in the sprinkler in the pool. And um, I'm still doing schoolwork with the kids because we just have, you know, a couple things. To finish up the school year but and we take a day off here we take a day off there so <laughs> that just pushes it longer but I think I'm gonna become a year-round schooler that's what it feels like anyway that way I can do that <laughs> anyway I'm rambling <laughs> you're not here to listen to me talk about homeschooling <laughs> so. all right so 
Daphne is getting very close to her due date. And it's July 1st. Yes. And today is the June 15th, right? Yeah, yeah June 15th. And um, so, like we've said before, our plan is to, you know, record an episode every other Two Monday. Weeks. Yep. So, but I don't know. If we don't record, there'll be something. Yeah, it'll saying... be an announcement on Instagram or somewhere. Yeah. I might pop in by myself and be like, hey, <laughs> how you doing? We'll see. Yeah. Um, but that's it. So, um, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And if you're the winner of the cow, make sure to email us. And we will get your package sent out to you as soon as we can. Yep. All right. Bye. Bye.